This is the Oasis R1 full touchscreen recorder. And the first thing you notice is this beautiful touchscreen display. When you power the R1 up for the very first time, it will automatically launch a tutorial mode where it explains all of the functions and settings in this voice recorder, including STT, this transcription mode. Transcription mode isn't perfect, but it's pretty good, and it does not require a connection to the internet, so your recordings remain private. The R1 has its own speaker on the bottom, and it does work, but I find that listening is more pleasurable when you use a decent set of headphones or a Bluetooth speaker. When you power the R1 up for the very first time, it will automatically launch a tutorial mode where it explains all of the functions and settings in this voice recorder, including STT, this transcription mode. The R1 comes with 8 gigabytes of internal memory, which it will use if it doesn't detect an SD card or for backups. This model also came with a 64 gigabyte SD card. The Oasis R1 has an 1100 milliamp hour battery. It charges in two hours and gives you 20 hours of recording time. Even so, it's only 3.2 ounces. On the right side of the R1, we have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. In the manual, it says this also can be used as a microphone jack, but I couldn't figure out how to get that to work, so I'm not exactly sure if that's true. Then we have a TF card slot here and a locking power switch that you can use to reset or turn off the unit. And then we have a USB-C charging port. The left side of the R1 is a little more complicated. On the bottom, we have a rocker switch for volume. And then this thing called T-Mark kind of sets bookmarks in your recordings. And then we have a play pause and a forward and reverse. I'm not sure which is which. They're not labeled. And then we have our recording button up here. Although normally I just use the on-screen control. It might look like there's only one microphone on the R1, but it actually has two. One is a high sensitivity microphone and the other is a low sensitivity microphone. As you can see from the main menu, we have five recording modes, general, interview, meeting, lecture, and pocket. They are functionally identical from a user perspective. If I could guess what they might be doing, I think they are adjusting which or how much of each microphone is being used to get the best recording based on the room conditions. The files that the R1 makes are either in the WAV or AAC format. These are widely known and easily transferred. One thing that I thought was interesting is the stealth mode. You can configure the R1 so that the screen does not light up, the LEDs do not flash red, and it will automatically start recording as soon as it hears noise in a room. Very sneaky. If you choose, you can annotate your recordings with this keyboard. It does not support predictive text or spell check, so you're on your own, but you can do it if you want to. When I first got the R1, I was so excited to play with it that I just blew through all the tutorials and didn't read any of them, and then later regretted it and wished that I could bring them back. Well, you can. If you go into the settings menu, you can do a factory reset and you will get your tutorials back, but it will destroy all of the recordings you have on the SD card, so keep that in mind. Another feature you can enable is password protection. It's completely optional, but if you choose to use it, you set a six-digit key. As I said earlier, the R1 comes supplied with a 64 gigabyte SD card. You are not limited to 64 gigabytes. You can choose to install a one terabyte SD card, but you'll have to supply that on your own. As I was testing the R1, I had loud music playing in the background. I wanted to see how well the interview mode and the pocket mode worked despite the noisy environment. And I must say that my voice came through loud and clear, absolutely no trouble understanding what I was saying, and transcription mode even worked, more or less. Look, I'm not trying to convince anybody to buy a digital voice recorder. I think if you need one, you already know it. 
And if you need one, the Ineoasis R1 is definitely worth consideration.